so i'll continue from where i left i was telling you what is the difference between compiler and interpreter uh, i have written a program in developer c++ language now uh, this is a program uh, written in c language so we have started with two header files stdio.h and conio.h stdio stands for standard input output header file and conio stands for console input output header file now once i have written this statement these statements are there are eight statements in my program right now i have not done any mistake in my program my program will compile successfully but to help you understand the difference let's suppose that we have an error at line number three and line number six for let's suppose on line three i have placed a semicolon that should not be placed and at line six i skipped semicolon or i missed semicolon now if the compiler works on this compiler will compile the whole program and then displays you all the errors whether you write eight line or 80 lines or 800 lines all the lines will be compiled and all the error messages will be shown to the user at the end whereas if interpreter works on this program interpreter is a line by line compiler it will work one first line is okay second line is okay there is an error and third error third line the interpreter will stop the execution of the program until this error is corrected and the remaining set of lines will not be compiled now after telling you the difference between compiler and interpreter i would i will tell you some rules of programming language before going to the before going to writing a program so these are the rules that are to be followed while writing a program let's start first of all most of the programming languages are case sensitive languages for example if we write the sentence or a statement like int a in lower case it will be accepted but if you write the same sentence in capitals it will not be accepted because c and c++ are the case sensitive languages so make sure that you write your program in always lower case you can write some variables with capitals like int in lower case and a in capitals but initially i would suggest that you must write your program in lower case only second rule you must end every line with a semicolon there are some exceptions we will tell i will tell you during the writing during the writing of the program so i have to end every line with a semicolon second when i save my program i have to save it using dot c or dot cpp extension then whenever you write a program you might need some functions the functions are already defined in the header files so you have to include the header files before writing your main function every c or c++ program must have a main function without main function your program won't be compiled so you must have a main function now let's talk about the brackets rules generally there are four types of brackets curly braces square brackets round brackets and less than greater than brackets generally in most of the programming languages there are certain or fixed rules for and all the brackets if you see a curly braces in a programming language it simply means block of statements and an hard and fast rule is before the start of curly braces you should not place a semicolon for example void main must not end with a semicolon similarly if else for they do not have a semicolon whenever you see an square brackets in a program then most of the time it will be an array it will represent an array the round brackets most of the time represent function or expression initially thought about it, think about it as a function so void main is a function print f is a function scan f is a function whereas int a is not a function less than greater than is used to write the header files or to compare the values for example if a greater than b now after doing after telling you the rules let's start with a basic program so i'll use developer c++ to write a program in c language now let's start writing a program so go to file new choose a source file and start writing 
I'm commenting my first line because I'm writing the title of my program here. Program by use of enter. Hash include .h. This header file is required to use printf and scanf functions as these functions are defined inside this header file. When you compile your program, the contents of this header file is also compiled where printf and scanf definitions are placed. After including my yesterday header file, I'll start with next header file hash include. Dotage stands for console input output dot h. It has basically two main functions. One is CLR SCR stands for clear screen, and second is get ch get grid. If you are not using these two functions, then you can skip this line. Now main function. You can say wide main. Some editors use wide main. Some use only main. The developer only use main. So I'll start with main. This represents that it is a function and I should not place a semicolon at the start of main followed by the curly braces which represent a block of the main function and inside this block I will write most of my programs. So let's start with printf. Printf is a print function. Anything you write here will be printed on the output screen. Let me show you how it will happen. Let's say hello world. And I have to end it with a semicolon. And I'll say return zero. The main function by default have a return type int. And if the function contains a return type int, it must have a return statement. I'll save my program. Mm, save it here. Like demo c dot cpp. Go to execute compile and run your program there's a short code for that as well f11 so it says source file is not compiled compile no i say yes so my program is compiled successfully there are no errors there are no warnings now let's see the output mm, laptop looks slow seems slow let me try it once again there you go so this is my output hello world and the output screen is there okay so if i press any key to continue my output screen is goes i can also use a get ch function here as well like get ch get ch stands for get character your output screen reads until a key is pressed from you now see what it happens what it does you compile and run you see after hello world there is a cursor blinking it simply means you have to enter or you have to give any input to this console so i'll press any key and then the program stops so based on the requirement you can also use get ch or you can also use return zero but if you use return zero then one advantage is you don't have to use header file conio dot program it works fine so there is no need to write conio.h header file if you say if you have save you if you save your program with .c extension then you don't have to write the stdi.h header file as well let's let's let me try to do that control c new file control v i am removing this header file and i am saving this program like a m o c dot c I'm not using cpp now, I'm using .c. Program is saved, let's see, compile and run. And it work, works perfectly. So if you have written your program and saved it with .c extension, you don't have to write the header files, stdio and conio. But I would suggest to use these header files as a common practice. Thank you very much. Please subscribe and share my channel. And if you like my video, please like my, like this video.